Hello, world of YouTube. Ow! I literally always hurt myself somehow in all of my intros mostly now. Like last time the lamp fell on me and this time like my ring hit against my finger so hard that I felt this like weird tingling sensation and it went all into my arm and ugh. I have some exciting news for you, YouTuber watchers. There's like dust flying in my face. I guess it's not really exciting news, it's just interesting news. I have quit my day job. I put my four week notice a few days ago. I said that I wanted my last day to be no later than October 31st. So I am quitting my day job and literally my full time job, what I make all my money off of, is going to be caring for my animal. That is my full time job. Go to sleep, wake up, eat, breathe, sleep, animals. I mean, I was working at a pet shop before this, so it was still pretty much the same thing, but now it's just my animals that I'm taking care of, not pet store animals, just mine. So yeah, that is my full-time job now. Two videos ago, I, I talked about my new pets. Well, 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 everyone, I have another new pet. This one's actually a pretty interesting story. I have a pet mouse now. I know, you're probably thinking, when will you run out of room? But I really, I think I'm there now. I have two tank builds I'm gonna be doing soon, and after that, I really don't know where I can fit another single living, breathing creature in this room. But I still will probably find room somewhere, somehow. I need to build like a shed in the backyard just for like, fish and have like a fish room in the backyard, but that'll cost me a lot of money because it'd have to be air conditioned and it would, it would be, that's a, I just need a new house. Um, okay, so I have a mouse. When I was little, I've had, I've had hamsters and stuff, but I've never had a mouse. I don't know if there's like dust flying in the shot, like if you can see dust, I don't know where that's coming from. Like, I don't know what's happening. Um, so yeah, I... These last few weeks, I've been working at two different stores at the same time. I work at a chain pet store, and we'll get into that in another video and why I chose to do that in another video. But I was, I'm working at a chain pet store up until October 31st, then I'm done. And I've been doing two stores at once. Anyways, I was at one of the stores. I was closing down um, animals, which just means going through the animals, feeding them, cleaning them, making sure they're all nice and healthy, all that fun stuff. I was going through the animal cages when I went to the mouse cage. Now, most of the mice at my store are, you know, feeder mice. They get sold for snake food. Because of this, I've become, you know, very used to that happening. I mean, it's the circle of life. Snakes need to eat. Every animal needs to eat. And, you know, snakes eat mice. I've become very used to that happening. So it doesn't, you know, break my heart every time. I understand it's the circle of life. Do I still love the mice? Yes. But do I understand that a snake has to eat? Yes. This time, something a little different happened. Basically, I was going through the cages to close animals and I found a really, really, really adorable mouse. He was orange and fluffy and all that cute stuff. So I decided I wanted to pick him up and just look at him. Because sometimes, you know, when I'm going through the animals, I like to pick up them and look at them and interact with him. So I picked him up and I noticed he had this like gash on the back of his body and it looked like a fight wound like one of the other mice and him got in a fight, left him with a battle scar and um, anytime there's an injured animal on the floor we have to bring it to the back and treat it of course. So I found the sick mouse and so I went up to my manager and reported to him that I was going to be moving the mouse to the back room. I did this and I said oh it's injured and I'm gonna bring it to the back and I'm gonna treat it. He's like no don't, don't even worry about treating it. I'll just take it home and feed it to my snake. I put the mouse that I thought was adorable in the back because he was gonna be snake food. I set up a little container for him to stay in for the night. I don't know why I wanted to like pamper this mouse, but I did. I chopped up carrots for him. I gave him some millet. I was just, you know, like pampering this little mouse, giving him everything he could because he was gonna die in a few hours. I was hand feeding him. Like I'd hand feed and you grab the little food and eat it. And then when I went to close the cage, he jumped into my hand and he just like, stared at me and it was the saddest thing ever. When it came to closing time, I was still thinking about that mouse. I was just wondering, you know, oh that poor thing, I hope he's okay back there. He's probably scared. Like all these things that the mouse is probably just chilling, probably didn't care at all. But in my head, he was nervous. I rung my manager up at the register for the mouse and you know, he paid for it. And we started closing and I kept just kind of asking questions and I kept just kind of being like, you know, that mouse is really nice. That's a nice mouse. And my manager was like, yep, yep, okay. And I was like, he's really nice. And so like, I went in the back and I picked him up and I brought him out and I'm like, look, look how nice he is, look. And my manager was like, and finally my manager was like, do you want to take him? And at first I was like, no, 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 it's, it's fine. He can be snake food. I know your snake is probably hungry. It needs to eat. Um, yes, I'll take it. My initial plan was to take the mouse home, 
make his wounds better, and find him a new home. Because as long as he wasn't injured, I could give him to someone and him not be snake food. I put him in a tiny five gallon tank because it was only gonna be a few days just to treat his wounds. And I fed him rice and some Cheerios and all this stuff, okay? I had him for about 10 minutes before I decided there is no way I can give this mouse away. I'm gonna keep the mouse. I can't. I can't give him away. <laughs> so I went the next day and got him a 10 gallon tank. Got him something that stacks on top of the 10 gallon tank. You know, like a second story. I bought him a, a better wheel. I bought him all these, you know, little toys. I'm still working on the tank. There's even more stuff every day I think that I want to get him. So now, um, now I have a pet mouse. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him out and show you him because he's super cute and awesome. Here's my mouse. Where are you going? I literally am obsessed with this mouse. I'm actually debating between a few names. I like Cheeto. I like the name Pumpkin because it's almost Halloween time and he kind of looks like a pumpkin. And then I love the name Gus and I'm kind of leaning towards Gus because well, number one, one of my favorite shows when I was a little younger was the show Psych. On Psych there's a guy named Gus and I love that show so I could finally name something after one of my favorite shows growing up. And then number two, there's Gus Gus from, uh, from Cinderella. Um, I am going to get him a friend, most likely, once his uh, wounds heal, because mice aren't solitary, they're very social creatures. Only problem is that he's a male, so often males fight. So I have to make sure that if I do get him a friend, they aren't going to fight, because that's not what we want happening here. Okay, I'm gonna put him away now. Say bye, buddies. So that's my mouse, and I'm pretty sure his name is Gus. But it also might be Cheeto, and it also might be Pumpkin. Who knows what it's gonna be. This room is getting crazy. It's getting really packed in here. People are joking that I should just get rid of my bed and sleep on the floor, because then I would have more room for animals. I will also show y'all guys how I set up my mouse habitat and how to take care of a mouse, all that fun stuff. That's a whole nother video that will be coming soon. Now update on Solara, my hedgehog, that I made a video about her being sick a few days ago. She's still the same. I did force feed her last night because she didn't eat and I just get really nervous about that kind of stuff so I wanted to make sure she can eat because hedgehogs really can only go like two days without eating so really wanted to make sure she was getting some food in her and you know I do take her out I do work with her and do little exercises with her feet to make sure she doesn't get completely stiff but also by the way thank y'all guys all so much for all the really nice comments about that situation y'all are so sweet and I really really do appreciate all the support I'm getting. On Monday, I'm getting a brand new tank, brand new fish tank. I'm going to be setting it all up with you guys, showing you guys how to build a planted tank. Oh my God, I just, I just noticed. Does anyone else have this problem? Because I just noticed this right now. Every time I wear a white shirt and I put it on after doing my makeup, even if I try my best to not get it to touch my face, it still happens. Ugh. Yeah, that's all for today. Thank you all guys for watching. My next video, the very next one after this, is all about my corals. So look out for that video. And thank you all for watching. And I'm using my hands a lot again. I always do this. I like when I'm going to say goodbye to y'all guys, I start using my hands. I also did move some of my Funkos. Um, I basically just stacked them up even higher to make room for my mouse. And then I put some over there. I don't know. I'm just Oh, and I put a bunch and I put a bunch down here. All my Game of Thrones ones. And then my Harry Potter ones are in the closet. So, yeah. Thank y'all for watching. Also, I never got Botox, so this is just my face for all those people asking. It's just my face. I overline my limps, limp limps. I overline my lips, so this isn't Botox. This is just I go over my Cupid's bow. I just go straight over. Don't ask me why. I just like how it looks. I'm sorry that y'all guys don't always. I like that the bottom matches the top. I like it to be symmetrical. Um, my cupid's bow is very deep, so it's like, and so I like it straight over. So, whatever. Bye.